suppose it's not a proper game unless that can happen. Hey there, Rebus Forever here. I've been inside, 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 living La Vida lockdown now, since all of this began, and I thought it might be nice to go on a bit of a road trip. And after doing a not-so-positive review for Bonfire 2, I thought it might be nice to uh, do something a bit more positive. So let's take a look at Road Z. After not uh, reading the game description at all and seeing Road Z, I thought, yeah, I'll give that a go, and requested a key. I was kindly given a key by the dev. The bit of the description I did read was drive your way through hordes of zombies, collect hardware to upgrade and customise new vehicles, add a turret, a flamethrower, a nitro bottle and more. So I was just thinking some sort of fear and loathing in Las Vegas style road trip. I was thinking deserts, I was thinking Carmageddon, with an overarching narrative. Had I done more reading, I would have realised this is a progression game where you have to drive to your next checkpoint. Whenever you run out of gas, or your car is broken, you have access to the updates menu and start over at your last checkpoint. If you don't reach your next checkpoint, you have to start over and over again at your last checkpoint every time. Also, my game, it's not an open world. It is a closed environment. So if I'd read that, I would have um came into this a bit more informed, which I was not. So, you know, let's bear that in mind. Welcome to the start of my um Road Z adventure. Uh let's have a look at the different characters. A lady or Bruce Willis? I'm going to be Bruce Willis. Spoiler, turns out I was the goth all along. Not quite as dramatic as the ghost um, reveal, but what can you do? We've got some narrative, that's a good sign. We've got a map, that's, that's good. We've got a road trip. Um, and now I'm, now I'm walking around. Collect hardware, search houses, get in car, go for a ride. Okay. Let's see what buttons we've got. We've got a jump. Any sort of melee fighting? We've got a a laborious kick. Anything anything else? Oh, I've gone into first person mode. And I'm out of first person mode. There was a run? Yep. Okay, let's collect things. I like collecting things. So says my Lego, um, horde. I don't know how much time it's advisable to spend here, because obviously we just want to hit the open road and, uh, have, have no constraints, as is the road trip. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, you know, a word. Did I just get a knife? Well, that's a bit violent. Yeah, I got a knife. I don't have to just kick things now. Nice. Um, I was just trying to think of a word that sort of summed up what I was trying to get at with like the ambience or whatever, the romance, there we are, the romance of uh, the road trip, the open road. I'm a bit disappointed this isn't like deserts in Nevada or something. I'm also a bit disappointed that everything looks a bit asset flippy because I thought this might be more of an actual um, designed thing. But, you know, if it's fun, it's fun. I've got to press F or D-pad down to flip the car. That's not a good sign. That means... That means that flipping the car is possible. Which I expect I'll do. Anyway, the open road awaits. I mean, clearly, it's a bit on the cheap side, but it's seven ninety nine. I was going to say... But then the game stopped me because my car broke. Um, so I'm going to have to upgrade it incrementally before it becomes a road trip. Will it become a road trip then? Is the mouse cursor going to stay on the screen? I'll move that off to the side. I'm going to buy a fuel tank. Or increase my fuel tank. As um, narratively, you'd imagine you'd want to have to do quite a lot in a zombie apocalypse. I mean... This isn't really how cars work, is it? This is a fascinating game choice, um, game mechanic choice. Okay, I'm not going to bother with um, looking around indoors. I have, I can't move the camera around when I'm in the car. Okay, so I won't, 
I won't choose a route. I'll just go the only one that I can see in the view whilst I'm here. Wow, that fuel tank is... Oh, my car broke. Huh. Suppose I'll be wanting some armor then. You know how sometimes, like, you'll look at the box of a product, and then you'll open it up, and what you get inside isn't really what you imagined? And probably if you'd looked at the back of the box, and you'd investigated it a bit more, you'd have realized that in advance. But the fact that someone made something the way that they did seems so mysterious and very well done. Um, I just can't... Oh, there's no way through here. Um, I really can't figure out why you would make this this way. I mean, I... Oh, there we are. We're out of gas, naturally. Because um, cars only have a very minuscule amount of fuel in them. Because it would be dangerous to have too much. You wouldn't want to be able to drive further than the end of the street, would you? I bought some nitro there because I might need some to keep my humour up. But I suspect it's not that type of nitro. Continue. That's... That's the way. I think... What I imagined this game would be... Could be a really fun game. And if that game exists, I'd be interested to know about it, because I'd like to play it. Going on a cool, sort of, road trip across the desert with a cure. Needing to, like, drive through hordes of zombies and crap like that. That could be really fun. Um... And I mean, kudos to the dev almost having that idea. This is very nearly something I'd really enjoy doing. But this checkpoint nonsense does not appeal to me. I suspect I just reached a checkpoint, and thus I get to start incrementally further along. Let's see what cars there are. So I mean, at least one of the cars there, potentially two, looks interesting. I'm going to stick with this. There might be some editing involved. I don't know how long I'm going to stick with it, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to, I'm going to feel like I've progressed a bit. I'm going to, I mean, I, I still appreciate the dev for sending the key. And if you ever make what I thought you were going to make when I, uh, first saw this game, when I rationalized what someone would make, if you ever make that, I'm well on board. Seven ninety nine though, but then you know there's there's really good games for seven ninety nine. I'm out of gas. This is really not the way I would do this game. But then you know, it's not my game, is it? Well, I, I guess it is because I was given a key, but you know, I didn't mean just in the sense of owning it as a consumer item. I meant in terms of being participatory to the creative process. And to be honest, I think probably you all knew that, so I don't understand the pedanticism on display by you all. But, yeah. All of, all of the feelings that I might want from a road trip are entirely, entirely absent from this as, I, look, I'm on empty now. How do I get through there? Not that way. I'm out of gas, or broken, or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save up for a uh, weapon. See how that works. I bet that's fulfilling. Oh, I hate being horrible. I mean, if this was like a free uh, demo, on itch.io or something I'd be I'd be like you know quite fun and maybe with my uh, content on YouTube I'm I'm not in a position to comment on quality and you know I let it not be said I didn't get there first oh this is a dead end oh that adds some mystery if only I had the fuel to be able to appreciate that on some level instead of just finding it to be a painful and frustrating um, complication. That'd be good. 
and not of gas, but we, we we're gonna get there. Let's get a gun. That'll make it. That'll make that'll make it better. How could it not? Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some memory now. Oh, that's a good sound. That adds a lot. I look forward to upgrading that so that sound can carry on for longer. That will be joyous. So I need to look out for the left turn. There it is, sneaky left turn. Not entirely sure I took to the way I said that. Oh, you blew up, you blew up, you blew up, you blew up. My car got broke. Let's get some armor. Oh, I can't. Nope. Let's get some engine. There we go. I can. Excelsior. Onwards and onwards. Well, I mean, like, you know, barely and in accordance with the checkpoints. And assuming nothing glitchy happens, like my bonnet all the time. If, if I had a camera, I'd be looking at that bonnet in fascination all the time. But there is no camera. It's just stuck wherever the game decides. But on the plus side, I guess if you don't have a right thumb, this is, uh, this is a good game for you. If you're absent, right thumbs. Because you don't need your right thumb at all. Really, I'm going to need that armor, aren't I? Because car broken is my problem. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to farm um, equipment points and get technical. Oh, I did braking. Which is very technical, because up till now I haven't pressed the brake once. I'm getting pro. So... Need some armor. We're base. There's almost no chance of getting through the barrels at the moment. It's almost like my uh, progress is being artificially and unnecessarily restricted. There we go. Almost for no good reason. But that would be an unrewarding game mechanic. So I can't imagine. I can't imagine someone would do that. Okay, as soon as I made it to the checkpoint, I am I'm investing in fuel. Because if I'm very careful, despite what I just said, because I didn't realise you could get through the barrel barrels without causing some destruction. There obviously is some skill involved. Isn't this the checkpoint from miles back? I don't know. I think that's the same checkpoint or the same building. Okay. I'm going to believe, I think I just drove through there. Will the camera catch up? Yep. Okay, so let's not get disorientated. This must be the way forward. Let's check right. That looks dead-endy, but what happens at... Yep, dead-end. This cure ain't gonna deliver itself. I was actually, um, because I've been intending to cover this game for a little while, um, because I want to, uh, be a good boy in the eyes of Key Mail and improve my rank so I can get some other keys for the channel, rather than just accepting keys and then never getting around to doing anything. Someone that's been helping me out with the channel was basically begging me not to cover this game. So, uh, you know, let's, let's, um, prove, prove, prove them wrong, despite the fact this game only has, like, um, four reviews on Steam currently. Let the power of obscurity shine through. Uh, it was a tank that way, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna try and complete this level, if nothing else. Oh, that's not the way to do it, though. 
I mean, if you upgrade your car enough, perhaps it won't feel like a really annoying checkpoint game. Perhaps it'll start feeling a bit more like an, the open world game that I thought it was. I bet the description is perfectly clear about what type of game it is, and I'm an idiot. That's what I bet. But anyway, I still think what I think the game should have been is better than this idea functionally. I'm not actually making any progress along this checkpoint, which is alarming. Does it not track my progress linearly? I'm looking at the bar along the top. Ah, so definitely going to need that armor. Am I going... Does that mean I'm going the wrong way, or does it just not move along until I get literally to the next checkpoint? I imagine we're all experiencing simil similar levels of anticipation on this subject. I mean, I can't help but feel as though this is right back at the beginning. But then there'd be that left turn where the tank was. It just looks very similar, which is really good. That's really, like, in, in when you're playing games in levels, if you can't tell things apart, um, that adds that adds to the experience for the player. Helps with navigation. Because uh, human eyes don't like uh, variation. We don't like... Um, we don't like distinct differences between one environment to another. We find those alarming. Oh no. I suspect the game's not going to handle this very well. Mm. Let's see what getting out of the car does. Can we do anything? Nope. Hello, fellas. Fancy giving me a shove? Well, I can't get away, so I'll get back in the car. Oh no, I won't, because I can't. Um, well, how does this end? What about all my XP and my equipment? Um, end round. That's handy. I wonder why they have an end round section. I very much doubt it's in case you get stuck, because the game isn't quite as polished as it might otherwise be. It's just a... It's just a function for when the game's working perfectly well and you need to leave in a hurry. Okay, this la last bit is, is proving very, very challenging. But you know, I suppose if you really need um, a zombie... Oh, oh, there we go. I remember that button. If you really need, like, a zombie checkpoint driving game that isn't what I thought it was going to be, this is, this is that. Um, okay, so let's go through here carefully. Ah! I'm still anxious that I don't see the car moving along the um, gauge at the top of the screen. Ah, oh, okay, so foiled by an arbitrary limitation once again. What a unique feeling in this game that's beginning to be. Well, I've already recorded for 20 minutes. That's going to be far too long. I, I, you know, I kind of want to do this. If this were presented a lot better, even with what it is, in terms of the game mechanic, it could be... It could be fun. I feel like something to do with this could be... I mean, I'm still playing it. That's, that's, that's probably what I'd say about this game. It, it could be fun, if it were free. I really feel like I could be going the wrong way. It would be nice if there was some sort of, I don't know, indicator. Oh, we're gonna run out of fuel in any event, aren't we? Yep, gonna need significantly more fuel to make it significantly further. Oh, and the car broke, so I'm gonna need armor and fuel. This is quite the grind. Is this how you make like a 20 minute game? into a, like an hour game. I wonder if there are any monetization options and I could buy something that would increase my XP rate. I don't even know if this is the right way. I mean, I assume I'd encounter a dead end if it wasn't. I'm being so careful and I've got no fuel anyway. Yep, screwed. Need to like grind. Oh, you, I, that could be a checkpoint though. Okay, okay. Eyes on the prize. Let's get another motor upgrade. Fuel consumption improved. You know, I could probably be making this easier if I went around in the buildings and looked for stuff each time. 
I don't have anything else to add to that. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. I'm sure there'd be some sort of arbitrary sort of problem with that. Where I'd have to use up muscle points. Where I'd have to unlock more. M oh, that's gonna go. Nope, we're on the track. Use up muscle points, which I'd have to stop and then upgrade. 18 points of armor, a tiny bit of fuel. Can we make it a little bit further? Finish this map. No. No, we can't. Okay, that's, you know, all, all the motor points. This has started mattering more to me. Not, I think, because of... I don't know. It's, you know, a, a, a strange mixture of me being quite obtuse and not wanting to feel like I haven't achieved the thing that I set out to achieve. Ah! Um... Or, or maybe, or maybe, there is something to the mechanics. I really wish it was just an open world thing, where you plotted your own course and this and that. But, you know, that's not what it is. I'm in this weird problem, because, you know, ultimately this is, even if it's an asset flip and somewhat poorly conceived idea, still better than anything I could do, but, you know, that's probably not... It's probably not enough of a basis to recommend it either. Oh, it's not even going to get there on this occasion. Let's. Oh, you sh. sh I imagine lots of this is going to be cut out, but we are we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. Good luck, me. Good luck, us. Because some of you may be going to still be watching this, and the longer this goes on for, the longer you'll be forced to do that for until um. Do you unsubscribe on the sly when I'm not looking? And, uh, scuttle off because of what I've subjected you to. Must use my turbo. Get a little bit of extra distance out of it. On the straights, and then squander that distance. Absolutely squander it on the barrier. My poor wasted turbo. But hopefully, irrespective, I'm going to have that extra little bit of push that I needed to make it beyond. 21 damage left on my car. Let's make every point of damage count. Oh, I've only got three, three left and I've got to do a jump. Oh no, it's not a jump. I really over-announced the uh, P on jump then. That'll be fun for the pop filter. Please. I don't want to have to do this again. Yeah! Did they just give me another car? Or was that the same? No, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, now I have to unlock the ve- I have to level up the vehicle again, do I? Well, that's gonna be a strict hell no. Let's just see. If- if they've- if they've taken away all of my progress in terms of the vehicle, any- any- any slight sense of... I'm sure this is a different vehicle, and thus- why can't I just have my old vehicle and the upgrades? I bet this is gonna last for like 10 seconds again. Oh, that's disgusting. Look how little fuel I've got. I'm just gonna... I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd have apologised for... But no, game. This isn't appropriate. This is completely inexcusable behaviour. Anyway, this was Rebus, uh, taking a look at Road Z. 7.99 on Steam. Um, buy it now at your own discretion. <laughs> or, you know, don't buy it, but... At least celebrate the fact that there are people out there trying new things. Because this might have really worked out. This might have been the, the next day Z. But um, unfortunately, in this case, I think not. I'll just let you carry on. Sorry, I was going to stop the game there. Are you finished? Okay.